People, it's me on Vice Beer Wednesday from Paul T's Beer Reviews and I will let Michelle introduce today's. <laughs> right, this is an Auerschback Christa by Dunkel and I hope that was near enough. This oh. looks really interesting. I call it, you know, they all look interesting to you, don't they? They do, because I do would love it, this type of thing. Would a can of Coke look that interesting, can I Defin ask? Definitely not. It might be the right colour, but definitely not the right taste. Not Diet Coke? No, definitely not Diet Coke. Pepsi Max? No. Okay. Right, let's get to it. Alders Backer, as I call it. And it comes in at a lovely 5.1%. An exclusive Dunkel, the correct and in glass. Thank you, Marcus, my old mate. Always makes a difference. It, they taste better in the correct glass, <laughs> as I've always said. Right, let's pour this. Oh, it's another one that's not quite so dark. No. Very good carbonation. Mmm, really bubbly. Good head coming on that. I'm pouring them older. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Always give it a shake. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, come on. Oh, I think you're going to like that. Okay. Let's get the last little bit in there. It's really important. Look at that. Almost time for a plate. <laughs> oh, look, quick. Well, it is summertime. Yeah. Ice cream, everyone. Flake. Now we can actually get. Oh. Yeah, it smells absolutely of everything. Yeah, there's fruit there. There's quite a lot of fruit there. The aroma is um, it's malty, it's fruity. Looks Even a little bit floral. Right, well here's the bottle. So you know what we're drinking. We pronounced it terribly badly. And the drink is not quite as dark as what I'd expect from a Dunkel. This is a dark brown colour. Like a, looks like a Frankie Royal, if I'm honest. Very, very cloudy, but still with really good carbonation. There's a lot of bubbles coming up there, isn't there? Yeah, I'll let you. You've been the connoisseur of Dunkel, so you think? Yeah, the smell is, there's fruit there. There's almost something floral as well, which is something I haven't experienced from Dunkel before. And yeah, it's it. more floral than um, spicy. The brewery dating back to 1146, if I may add. Oh, there's loads of malt there. And it's, there's a toasted flavour, but it's more sort of a biscuity flavour. This one is quite sweet. Mmm, yeah, creamy aftertaste. Yep, good on the palate. Really, really creamy. Quite light, not as heavy as some Dunkel's. Um, I think you're going to really like this. Let's start with the biscuits. Yeah. I wouldn't. If it wasn't for the aftertaste, just like slight hints of coffee, I would say, on the back of the palate after, I wouldn't even know that's a Dunkel until the aftertaste. It isn't. It isn't, um, it isn't as rich or as um, heavy as what I would think of a traditional Dunkel to be. Um, it's very smooth. 
And it's quite carbonated to the fact that you're feeling them bubbles on your tongue, aren't you? Yep, literally. It's still yeah. really carbonated now. It's, it's really so. It's only after, as you swallow. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting a real sweet kind of caramel taste now as well. In the aftertaste. Yeah, caramel mm. coffee. Definitely coffee. I'll just chop again. Right at the end. It's a pure, like a pure coffee, a really nice coffee. Creamy, but not too creamy, if that makes sense. Totally, right at the end. Mm. The end of the palate, as you swallow. Yeah, yeah, but there's a sweetness to it as well. It's like a, um, when you fancy coffees that you would get in a coffee shop. I don't know, I can't afford coffee shops. <laughs> and you try them when I'm bored all the day. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is really good. There were so many flavours there, it's hard to pick out everything individually, but there is a lot more fruit than spice here, I think. Yeah, it's not too, not too spicy. Let's say, you wouldn't know it's a Dunkel. If you're blind tested on that now, a right, apart from right to the end, you get a hint. I'm wondering if we are just dumping all the Dunkels in the same box when actually like a, a Vice Dunkel is a lighter option because the Vice Dunkels that we were reviewing they seem to be coming out at this kind oh, of um, really dark amber almost brown colour rather than the um, almost black colour of a traditional Dunkel. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say. And I'm not sure, I'm looking at the back. So I have to show, you has been making all the noise, come here. This is a little one that you can hear sniffling around. And he's the one who you can hear snorting in the background. So there you go, you're on camera now. Go on, off you pop. Oh, I thought it was you making them noise, <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to say. He's a pub, he makes lots of noise. <laughs> but yeah, this is quite, quite a full body. It's there. It's got a richness, a creaminess to it. Um, it's got a bit of egg there. Yeah, it is, it is really a good all-rounder. There's a lot there, there's a lot of flavour. One of them that, as you're tasting it, you're getting a totally mm. different taste to, it's going in your mouth, you're swallowing, your aftertaste, you're you at three different levels. Your aftertaste is quite creamy. There's no bitterness or anything there's there coffee. to it. Yeah. There's coffee, caramel, coffee. What do, what do they call those caramel coffees? If you could think of like a cold one of those with a creaminess to it. These are more lighter and refreshing Dunkels, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. This is, this is definitely good to go. And I'm not, as any of you that know me will know, I'm not particularly a Dunkel man, but this, this, this does it. Yeah, oh, it's almost an ice cream aroma. It's so creamy, and there is such a sweetness to it. I say ice cream, but no, okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is yeah. good. That I've, is. It is good. I've not been disappointed by anything I've tried by this particular brewery yet. Yeah, so well, it's number four. We've already reviewed three. Um, I don't know if you've seen three of them. If three of them are live yet, because we're a bit confused with all the videos we've taken. Let's say, and they've got to be flipped round and edited and so on. And I'm starting to do the editing, and it's um, some of the editing, shall I say? It's, it's still a learning process. We're getting there. My friend Matt still does them when he can. Yeah, thanks, Matt. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, this is good. Really good, really good. I'm going to go on a yes on this, and this is definitely, um, especially for this time of year, this is an eight. I, I like this a lot. I'll go yes, and I'll go on a seven. Seven being that for most Dunkels, I give much lower. But yeah, this is well driven. But as I say, until the end bit, I wouldn't actually know it's a Dunkel. Mm, definitely. And I'm quite honest, and I think I've drunk enough to kind of know what I'm in some ways. It's more like your traditional uh, vice beer than uh, a thick, rich Dunkel, so you are getting the best of both worlds with this. Yeah, 
This is one you could drink in the daytime. Oh, in the sun. Hmm. Which a lot of them you can't. So yeah, we're both on a yes. Yeah. You're on a seven point five, or is that? I think that's the eight. You're on an eight, I'm on a seven. Right, there you go. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, follow us. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Pulti Beer Reviews. Thanks, everyone. Bonjour.